Okay, welcome back. Now, what I had to edit out was basically just me extruding this uh, surface over here. Just extruded it twice and uh, resized uh, this headlight a bit so that it would actually fit. Okay, <coughs> we're gonna do some further uh, editing of this later if it uh, comes to that. Anyway, let's. Uh, go and finish this frame up all right okay so let's go and make another cylinder let's duplicate this one uh, by 90 okay let's go into this view over here and resize it a bit put it about here somewhere something like this I guess let's take a look over here yeah it it has a bunch of stuff over there so I'm basically gonna over here are there gonna be basically exhaust pipes so that's not actually gonna be seen but anyway oh yeah before I forget let's uh, twist this around because well uh, we don't actually want this bit to be on this side we want it to look like this I forgot to do that earlier Okay, so that's on the yeah. Mm. Anyway, let's turn it around manually. I wanted to scale it actually, but there you go. That'll have to do. Okay, yeah, I'm pleased with that. Okay, now let's uh, make those, uh, what do you call it, uh, shields, or I don't know, over here at the, at the top of the wheels, in the front and to the back. Now what are we going to use is basically a torus, which we are going to edit out. Now let's make a torus over here, just drag it in the viewport once. After that, just drag it again, and you can uh, actually set the girth of it, I guess. The, you can make a donut or whatever. Okay, let's go for something like this. Okay, let's reduce some of these edge loops around here, subdivisions. Uh, let me see. No, I'm, I'm going to keep this to 20 even more than that let's go for 30 because we actually want it to be round the wheels were gonna smooth out okay and uh, the height let's go for 10 and uh, 12 okay that should be enough I think uh, help to hell with it let's put in 14 okay I'm pretty pleased with that okay now let's rotate this on the x-axis by 90 degrees and delete some parts we don't actually need okay now that we pretty much deleted all of those parts that we didn't need let's rescale this a bit just a bit go like this even go like this okay now let's put it over the wheel there and see what we get. Okay, the front. Put it over here. Zoom in on it a little. Okay, now it's a bit too big. So yeah, that's about right. Scale it a bit. All right, something like that. Let's rotate it. Yeah, we're gonna have to delete some more, but we're gonna actually make a copy of it so that we can actually use it on the wheel in the back over there. Okay, so it's basically somewhere up around here, and we gotta delete. Let's see these guys, not faces. These guys over here. Okey doke. <coughs> Now let's see what we can uh, do with this. Okay, let's first let's uh, center this a little better. Okay, let's see here. Somewhere around here, I guess. Let's take a look. Even uh, even a little more actually. Or no? No, that's that's uh, just a little. Over 
here. Yeah, that's okay. Okay, now let's round uh, these edges around here a bit because uh, it just doesn't look right like right like this. Um, the simple way we can uh, actually do this is select the edge over here, not the entire one. Yeah, anyway, select the edge over here and just resize it and it will actually round out a bit mm, like this is pretty, it's pretty cool I guess a little more ok let's keep that uh, ok yeah, that, that looks pretty cool ok let's do the same over here uh, edge select these guys Resize this a bit. Yeah, that looks about right. A little more even. Yeah, that looks cool. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think we'll leave it at that. Okay, now let's do the other one in the back. Let's take a look over here. Yeah, this one uh, is basically. Situ uh, don't do that. Situated around here somewhere, and uh, it's a little more funky, so to speak. Let's zero over here. Okay. Uh, let's see what we got here. Let's resize it a bit. Something like that, or even more. Uh, we can do whatever we want to it. Let's position it a little better, shall we? Like this. Mm. Something like that. Okay. Now, uh, what are we gonna do is uh, basically select these guys over here. Okay. Now, God damn it. I still don't actually really get how they how the this selection thing uh, works with the double click and sometimes it works sometimes it just fudges things up anyway let's actually no let's go for these as well of course it doesn't want to work anyway okay blah -dee blah -dee blah I think uh, they actually put this double clicking uh, selection thing uh, and uh, two th why 2010? I think the ones from uh, earlier than that didn't have this uh, option. Okay, mm -hmm. resize this a bit. The new something like this, I guess. Okay, let's see what we can actually do with the uh, edges here. Up. Ah, let's go for down like this. Okay, something like this. We're not gonna actually really do it like uh, it is in our reference over here. We're just gonna, at least I wanna play, uh, give it my own spin, I guess. <coughs> okay, let's do the same thing around here. Like this. And sort of like this. Let's move it actually a little on the inside. Okay, that looks about right. Yeah, let's uh, rotate it a bit on the back here. Okay, something like that. Mm, that looks alright, I guess. Let's uh, take it a little more down. Like that. Okie doke. Okay, now let's go on and make the seats for this uh, motorcycle over here. 
Now we're gonna start from a cube, I think. It's gonna be fairly okay. Let's resize this a bit. Okay, drag it around here. Let's actually put it in the place over here. Alright, let's drag it over here. Okay. <coughs> let's see. Now let's add a few a little geometry to this. Let's go for something like not too much. Three, three, three. Uh, that should be enough, at least for now. Okay, let's go into vertex mode over here and uh, arrange this up. Okay, I'll pull it around over here. Size it a bit. This one right next to it, a little smaller. This over here. Okay. This part, uh, let's put it around in the middle over here. We're gonna add edge loops after this, so we can actually make something decent out of this. Okay. Basically, the goal here is to make something a little more rounded. Now, I may as well pick a cylinder or something uh, like that, but basically it's kind of pretty much the same thing. Okay. Okay, let's add a few more edge loops around here. One here, and one over here over here to even even this uh, these spaces out a bit <coughs> okay yeah let's extrude this another edge loop over here so that we actually when we smooth this out uh, we can actually uh, have that little belt thing right there I, I think it's a belt okay so that this actually stays in place it doesn't just run amok around here all right uh, let's add another one over here and let's uh, extrude this part over here for a bit okay extrude resize this axis not that much a little less okay that seems about right okay now I think I'm gonna yeah it's a little too big, but anyway. We press 3. Uh, looks fairly decent, but let's resize it a bit. Something. Ah, uh, let's click on center pivot over here. Okay, let's reposition this. Somewhere around here. It's pretty much centered. Let's make it a little more wide. Not by much, and uh, this is a bit too much. Okie doke. Okay, I think this is it for the fourth part. I'll see you guys in the fifth.